Good afternoon, we're here in Millen, Georgia. We just picked up a new puppy, the newest addition to the family. We're taking Sirius 4 Romeo Lima back down to Tallahassee to bring this friend to his new home. Jump aboard and let's fly. Sears number 374, Romeo Lima's taxi, runway 35 from uh, the ramp, Millen. Clear left, clear right, clear straight ahead. I don't see one on base or final and nobody on this. If our route looks right, which it does, go home. Zoom back in, you got environmentals. 26.8.
There's 3-5. Find the center line. Alright, airspeed's alive. Engine instruments are in the green. Looking for 71. Got 73. There it is. Looking for 90 now. Clear of obstacles. Positive rate. Flaps coming up. Now we're going to just climb out at 120. Make a left downwind departure here. Caps is now available. Millen traffic, uh, Sirius number 374, Romeo Lima is in the left downwind, departing the pattern to the south, Millen. IFR clearance down to Tallahassee. Lane approach, Sirius number 374, Romeo Lima is just off of 2 Juliet 5, looking to pick up IFR to Tallahassee. Number 374, Romeo Lima, Atlanta Center, Roger. Spock 7115 and ident. 7115 and ident for 4 Romeo Lima. Romeo Lima, you are radar contact six miles southwest of the Mellon Airport. Altitude indicates leaving 4,000, cleared to Tallahassee via direct. Uh, maintain 4,000. East Waynesboro, Timber Street 004. Maintain 4,000, 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 East Waynesboro, Timber Street 04. 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 Maintain 4,000, so I've got a detailed breakdown here, every piece and part that you might ask about. So a typical annual inspection is about $5,000, and that's before anything additional has been added on. Uh, like we said, there's some extensive break and tire, some extensive wear and tear from the training in this airplane, so a lot of random things, for example, stripped on the left side wing. It's $33 to replace that. We had some initial paint defects um, from the airplane. We first took delivery of it from the factory. Um, and those were $405 to fix. It was a paint bubble. Three hours of work. Here are the tires. For two new tires at $423 a piece. Those were almost $900 to replace. And that ended up with labor being almost $1,500 to replace the tires. Brake pads were worn down. Each of those cost 
$182 a piece, plus $200 in labor, so $600. Uh, just to replace the brake pads. Some other random things on here, new air filter. Um, idle rise issue with the mixture. I was running a little rich. But all in all, uh, the total was $9,853. That is 55.6 hours of labor. $1,400 in parts. Anything to add? Uh, no. No, they were, good. they were a good shop. We felt like they did a good job. Uh, and Augustine.
Mindy Hill's on by the Corbett's out of Tampa. I think um, Dick Corbett at one time worked for um, President Kennedy, obviously very young at the time, but uh, has done very well in commercial real estate in the Tampa market. Join these videos, please be please be sure to subscribe and uh, comment, leave a like there. Uh, helps me for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, YouTube knows to send my videos to more people. Um, also, in the description, there's a website that you'll see with an operating costs spreadsheet put together uh, for y'all for download. It's got all the operating costs for a Cirrus fixed variable, and then comparatively as to how many hours you would have rent it per year. So if you're a hobbyist and you're interested in that kind of thing, check it out. It is a couple dollars, um, not too much, because it is a business tool. So if that's something you're interested in, check it out. Send it uh, no more than 500 feet per minute, ideally, um, just for the puppy. Also, flew at a lot lower altitude.
down right crosswind. Yep. There's the yaw dam. Minimums. Thanks for flying along.